and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you haven't met me before, hi, I'm Alice Neville. Lately I've been really thinking back on my year and thinking how much I've achieved and how much I've learned and what I've done because when you look back, a year is quite a long time and you've done a lot in 365 days. So I've looked back and I thought all, all the things I've done recently and I've achieved so much this year and I've done so much. I have been on my first solo trip to Melbourne, that was pretty fun. I went with my best friend Madison and we did a lot of fun stuff over there. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put the link just below. I have got plenty of new jobs. I'm actually working at three different jobs now. At the start of the year I didn't even have one basically. Um, I turned 18 at the end of last year, so all of this year I've been legal and I've done I've, I've been going out quite a lot. That's something <laughs> every 18 year old has done. I've been camping at lots of different spots, at my friend's farm. I've been at my farm, to the block of land. I've been to my beach house, which is at Karakalinga. I've done a vlog there before, if you want to check that out, I'll put the link next to me. I went for the second time, I went to America this year in April. That was very enjoyable. I went everywhere. I've also made a video about that. You can check that out. You can check that video out. I'll put it next to me as well. I, when I was in America, I actually got my first tattoo. So I got my first legal tattoo. After I got back from America, I got obsessed with the cactuses for some reason. I don't know how, I don't know why, but me and my friend adopted our first little cactus. Then later on in July, I went to Bali for the first time with my best friend Courtney. And I actually have a video of that that I'll put up again. And in Bali, I got my second tattoo very spontaneously. The story is that I booked an appointment to get my tattoo done and I had a few days to decide what I wanted. And I really wanted a rib tattoo but I couldn't decide and I was stressing myself out trying to think of what I could get. And then the day came around and Courtney was decided to get three tattoos. I had nothing in mind what I wanted and I was stressed out and I was like, you know what, I just won't get a tattoo done, that's fine. And then the boys and Courtney were like, just get something done, just get something done. And I was like, ah! So I just looked up cute tattoo designs online and I found this little cactus and I was like, oh my god, my little cactus obsession has started. And so I decided to get a little cactus done. <laughs> so yeah, I got a little cactus done 20 minutes before the appointment. I decided to get a little cactus on my ankle. Yeah. After I got back from Bali, I had a few family issues, but that's all good because it's all sorted now, it's for the better, which is always good to hear. I have joined a gym, which was pretty spontaneous as well. Regrets at a gym. Then me and my friend Talia got a nightclub job, which is pretty fun. So every Saturday night we work out on the streets. And then later on in December, I had my 19th birthday. So I'm officially 19 and that was pretty fun. I had lots of family and friends over. All the people that meant something to me came, so that was really nice. And later on, after that, it was Christmas time and I got spoiled. I got absolutely spoiled. And I got lots of cactus flowers. <laughs> I'm obsessed with cactuses, I don't know why. They're just adorable and I just got like 50,000 different cactus things but that's all right it's all fun <laughs> so that's a lot of things I've done this year that are significant but apart from the things I've done I've actually learned quite a lot of things this year about myself and about the world and just I just tried to realize that everything is meant to happen for a reason and I've just had that vibe in me lately so I've learned this year it's okay if you lose friends. It's okay if you gain friends. If you lose friends, maybe they weren't meant to stay around forever. I've lost a few friends, I've gained a few friends. I've met actually quite a lot of nice and positive people this year and I'm so glad that I have that sort of vibe of people around me. I can't stand people holding grudges 
and just people just need to let go and I just love those people that just can relieve all bad stresses and stuff. I just don't like hanging around negative people because it just brings me down, makes me feel like absolute crap. So I'm glad to stick around positive people and you know, be positive about life. You just you gotta let negativity out to enjoy the positivity in life. And I know you've probably all heard it before, but like positivity is such an important thing to have because when you're positive everyone's positive around you and you just gotta turn anything negative into positivity. You gotta think about the best in things because that's all you should be enjoying is positive things. You can't keep on holding on to negative things in your life. Um, also, a thing I've learned this year is about relationships and boys. Yes, I'm interested in boys. So when it comes to boys, you just can't always expect them to come to you and expect them to fall at your feet and fall in love with you. No, it doesn't happen that way. And don't change yourself to be with a boy but sometimes it's not meant to work out and it's best to be friends or it's best to just let them go. You're not always going to have someone that falls in love with you. So you just got to accept that and that's fine. Like You just got to accept these sort of things. Another thing I've learned is it's okay if you don't know what you're doing in your life. I'm on a gap year. Well, I was on a gap year this year. Travelling, doing whatever I wanted, just working. I haven't even got a full-time job yet. I've just got lots of casual part-time work. If I want to study, I will study when I want to study. I don't know what I want to do right now. I don't know if I want to go to uni or TAFE or do anything. Like, I'm not too sure. So I'm going to wait until that comes to me. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy my life because I'm young. I want to travel. I want to do these things. I'm allowed to. So I'm going to do them while I'm young and when I can. And when it's time, I will settle down and study and do whatever I need to do. But for now, I'm living life freely. Woo! <laughs> okay, a big one that's come around. A big one that's come to me this year is when people put their hose before your bros. Like, I have learned that many people do fall in love this year. They will put their lovers in front of their friends, and sometimes it does hurt. Sometimes you think that you've stuck around for all this time and then suddenly this boy comes into their life and you've been kicked out and put aside. Yeah, that does happen. Your friends do do accept these new lovers in their life and sometimes you're maybe not as important to them at that time and maybe they don't tell you that. And you just got to learn that if that happens, you just got to be happy for them. you just got to move on and let them be who they need to be. And at the end of the day, you will be there for them because they'll be there for you, even if they don't say that to you. Like, I told her, I asked my mum about this and she's like, you just gotta keep yourself busy. If your friends are hanging out with your boy their boyfriends, you just gotta keep yourself busy as well. You don't, like, you're not lonely because you don't have someone. Like, I'm not lonely because I don't have anyone. I gotta just keep enjoying life the way it is, even if my friends are friends off with different friends or different boyfriends. I just gotta enjoy what I'm doing at the moment. And at the end of the day, yeah, I will be there for them and they'll be there for me, even if we don't verbally speak about it that often. I do like their boyfriends, I do like their girlfriends. I just need to accept that they are my, still my friends. I don't know how to express this because it makes me sound like I'm being very selfish. I, feel, I find it very hard to accept the fact that my friends may choose, may choose guys over like me, my friends. And um, sometimes that happens, sometimes your girlfriends don't realise that they're running off to another guy and leaving you behind and leaving you alone. But you just gotta let them, you just gotta reassure that they still love you, they still care for you and it's okay, it's okay if they move on, it's okay if they move ahead. I don't really know how to say that but I feel like it's very important in my mind. I think, I think about it all the time. But. Just, there's so much positivity in this year and you just don't need to think about all the bad things that happen. Yes, you might have lose, lost friends, lost family, lost anything, lost, you know. But you just got to think about all the good times like being in America, travelling, you know, hanging out with your good friends, going out for dinners, going out for lunches, buying clothes. It's just it's so good that you can do these things. 
and be so happy and that if you enjoy something, go do it. If you want to wear that, you wear that. You just go, you just rock it. Like, there's no point thinking about other people and being judgmental. That's another topic, judgment. Obviously people get their judgment. Obviously, like, I can see people judging me in my YouTube channel, like, I can see it, like, it, if you want to do it, you do it. You don't care about other people's opinions. Yeah, it might phrase you in your mind, but you just can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I wanted to do this for a while, and none of my friends backed me up or said, yeah, you should go for it. And I felt really down about it, but, you know, I felt like saying, you know what? I can do what I want to do and you can do what you want to do and I'm going to do this because I enjoy it so people are going to judge you for it, people are not going to like you for what you do, people are not going to like you for what you wear or how you act but you're just going to move on and be who you really are and do what you really want to do. Yeah so <laughs> I've learned a lot in 2016 and you just, yeah it's it's such a great year. I hope you learnt something from this video and I hope you learnt a lot from 2016 as well because I feel like it was a great year, it really was, and I hope 2017 is a better year and I hope I can con continue being positive and happy and loving everyone and I hope you have a great 2017 too and I thank you for watching my videos and I thank you for the people supporting me because it does really mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I will see you in 2017, <laughs> thank you, bye.